What propelled you to want to be a lawyer? Uh, the death penalty. I wanted to participate in abolishing the death penalty. Uh, when I started law school, um, the death penalty was one of the, uh, um, the, the, the tools of criminal law. And uh, for personal, religious, and, and other reasons, uh, I wanted to participate in eradicating this penalty in, in the uh, legal arsenal of France. And, well, and unfortunately, when I finished uh, my, uh, my, my law school and when I graduated and could have joined that uh, group, um, the death penalty had been abolished. All right, but you nonetheless stayed as a lawyer. And yes. did you practice in France? Yes, I practiced in France for a few years. And I was doing, like so many um, young lawyers in those days, you had to do tax, you had to do corporate, you had to do uh, antitrust, you had to do labor. Now, luckily, uh, the French president to be elected was Mitterrand, a socialist. And that government came out with lots of very, um, very hard labor law rules to benefit the unions and the workers and, and all of that. Now, at Baker McKenzie, most of our, our clients were international Right. corporates or American companies that had invested in France and and uh, I was really busy. So were there many women lawyers in France in those days? No, 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 no. Right. no. One of the reasons actually I joined Baker McKenzie was because the managing partner of the Paris office was a woman and she was then a role model for me. Now for those who don't know, Baker McKenzie was for many years one of the largest law firms in the world. It was the largest, yes. And it was based in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So at some point how did you get to be the head of the entire firm? You're a woman. Mm -hmm. It's a male firm, more or less. It, you're from France. It's a Chicago-based American firm. So how did you get elected to be the managing director of the entire firm and move to Chicago? Again, I'd love to think that it's pure merits and, and, and quality of uh, uh, the work I was doing. I think it's, you know, it's interesting, actually. Um, so I became managing partner of the Paris office. And gradually, I was, I was doing a decent job. I was picked up by the uh, nominating committee who selected me to join the executive committee. And I was the first uh, woman to be on that, on that executive committee. And then I went back to practice, happily. But they came back to get me. Um, by that time, it was a mess. Um, the uh, IT budget was completely um, out of, out of order. Uh, the knowledge management system was a, a complete disaster. And um, management was not really trusted. So the nominating committee had a tough time selecting somebody. And it's often in those situations that a woman arises. So okay. I was selected as chairman of the firm.